Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelisa and on this channel we talk about books and today I'm going to be starting another reading vlog for a series that I've been anticipating reading for a while now. So it is the Natural series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. There are four, technically five or four and a half books in the series. These four and then there's like a novella that's actually at the end of this one. I found out this copy has the novella at the end, so it's great. But yeah, so I thought I would vlog me reading this for you guys, spoiler free. Hopefully, there might be spoiler sections, we'll see. But yeah, so that's what we got going on for the video today. I have started The Naturals already. I'm already 50-ish pages in. I've finished like the first part, and so far it's very intriguing the writing is very interesting it's it's reminding me already of the inheritance games like the writing style and i'm reading the point of view of cassie and it's reminding me of avery's point of view and the guy in this i think it's michael is his name he kind of reminds me of like jameson and grayson but yeah that's natural <coughs> oh well that's the title but that's not what i mean but like i feel like it's natural to have like Not yet. Oh my god. 12 seconds. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> anyway, I feel like it's natural to like see relations between the two. But yeah, so far I'm really enjoying it. I am a person who watched a lot of Criminal Minds when I was a kid and like into teenagehood. So this is just very interesting to me, like the profiling part, but also like when we get all of the you point of views, it reminds me of like those flashbacks between them investigating and like what's going on in the crime that they're investigating so yeah anyway i'm gonna keep reading and i'm gonna update you guys a little bit later once i've read more This book is so much fun reading in like the mind of someone who naturally kind of profiles people and psychoanalyzes them is very interesting and I'm already sensing a little Jennifer Lynn Barnes love triangle situation which is fun. I just want to pop on really quick because I'm about halfway through the book so I want to just give my quick thoughts before I go to bed um, but yeah so far it's very good it goes by so so quickly though the font is really big so it being like a 300 page book means it's gonna go by really quick so I'm definitely gonna go like straight into the next one which I'm pretty sure is Killer Instinct so yeah I'm excited but so far they're not really like solving a real case it's more that um Cassie the main character and the other people like Dean, Michael, Leah and there's one more I don't remember her name to be honest or is it a guy or was it just the four of them anyway um they are more like practicing and like because the FBI doesn't trust like, well, they trust them, but, like, they don't understand why these kids are able to do this and they're not. So they won't give them, like, actual cases to do. They're just giving them, like, cold cases. And Cassie, I think, is about to get her first cold case. From up until now, she's just been doing, like, little activities and, like, being tested by the trainer, which has been really interesting. So, yeah, she's going to get her first cold case and we're going to see what happens. Yeah, because the synopsis was very interesting and <laughs> yeah, it seems like this does start to pick up and go a little bit crazy. I wonder if it leaves you on a cliffhanger and then you need to go straight into the second one, so we'll see. I'll keep you updated, but probably won't update you until I finish this book because it goes by really, really fast.
face it's crazy all right guys i just finished the naturals and oh my god this is such a fun little series i would say on the darkness slash i don't know just like how spooky slash thrilling it is it's giving the similar vibes to like a girl's guide to murder like that type of level of ya thriller but this was so much fun the twists in it were a lot of fun that same kind of like jennifer lynn barnes feel where you got inheritance games where the purpose of this book is one thing but other things are being like revealed behind the scenes and there's like twists involved in this mystery and yeah it's really cool and i'm really excited for the second book because i read the synopsis for the second book like at the end of this one because it has a little like blurb and it sounds so much fun and it's about something that gets revealed in this one about a different character so i'm really excited to see that but yeah i'm gonna rate this four and a half stars this was really really fun a good introduction to the naturals characters like the main characters and kind of like how the program works and all that and you get a little bit of background for the next few cases that we're going to be looking at so i'm really excited for that and it definitely gives that like criminal minds feel for sure so yeah i still have questions about other things that were revealed but i don't know and i just have a feeling because it was like a first book it was kind of short it's only 300 pages it was very fast and I'm excited for the next ones because they're a bit longer so I feel like it's gonna be a little bit more like fleshed out so yeah that's why I like lowered my rating because I'm a anticipating that the other book's gonna be a, like better and b this one was just like so quick and so short I don't know what I'm feeling I don't know but it's just 4.5 that's what I'm gonna say anyway I'll check in with you guys later once I start I think it's killer instinct is the next one yeah I will be back later with that chapter 14 so i wanted to give you guys a little update on what's going on well not like what's going on but how i'm feeling right now so far very very intriguing the storyline and how things get like related and tied together is very fun and yeah the crew is back at it again they've been told time and time again that they should only be working on cold cases because that's what the program is for but they can't help themselves but get involved in these active cases so that's what we are going through right now and yeah one thing i will say is that if you like don't typically enjoy shows like criminal minds or like depictions of people who are being like brutally um unalived you probably like you probably will still like this but you're probably gonna want to like skim the parts where they describe like how a body was found or something like that so yeah i just want to let you know anyway i'm gonna keep reading and update you guys probably closer towards the end once i've gotten more into this story but as always i will vlog me reading a little bit that's nice <laughs>
music the that's nice Hey guys, it's the next morning and I have like a few minutes just to update you on my progress. I'm about 70% through on chapter 35, which is page 264 out of like 375 or something. So yeah, 70% through, really, really enjoying it. I'm those little reveals at the end of some of the chapters that make you just want to keep reading is such like Jennifer Limbarn's fashion. So yeah, like my jaw just drops and I'm like, I have to keep reading. So it's so addictive. I'm really enjoying Leah's character more in this book. She's just kind of like, I understand her a little bit more and you get to know a lot more about like why she is the way she is. So yeah, anyway, that's pretty much my thoughts right now. I'm just going to keep on reading and I'll update you guys at the end, but I have to go to work. So I just want to update you really quick. <laughs> hey guys, I just got home from work and I thought I would give you an update on Killer Instinct. So I ended up reading the rest of this book. I had like just under 100 pages left. I ended up reading the rest of it like on my lunch at work, on the way home, on the bus, and I did end up finishing it. So first thing I will say is that I ended up changing what I wanted to rate the naturals based off of how I feel about this one. So now that I've like read the second book, I feel like this one's more of a 4.5 and the first one is closer to like a four star uh the reason being is because like this did have a lot more content in it a lot more activity um you know more character development which gives it a higher rating than the first one for my opinion but it still wasn't a five star for some reason there were some instances where i was reading this and i just like not that i was predicting the twists but i was predicting that there was gonna be a twist if that makes sense so every time that we were getting a lead in this i kind of just like already knew that that lead because like that's just how this book and like these books are structured but even like towards the ending of this I literally there was like 30 pages left and I thought that like what had happened was going to be the end and I was like well that was kind of a sucky ending and then I kept reading and things changed like the ending was actually really really good so yeah I'm gonna rate this one 4.5 stars I really just enjoyed it <laughs> I honestly feel like I could read these group of characters solving crimes for so so long and i'm so excited because this next book is when they're actually like kind of able to be in the program and like put their skills to use so yeah i'm excited for that anyway i just wanted to give you guys my quick thoughts before i move on to all in i'm trying to make this reading vlog not too long since we are reading an entire series but yeah but i'm really really liking it i really am enjoying this series it's so much fun and i really don't want it to end oh oh my god and just the love triangle the jennifer lynn barnes's love triangles are just like what is happening <laughs> i feel so bad for one of them but then the other one i'm like i don't know i was rooting for one the whole time and then my opinion kind of changed and then you know the main character kind of made a decision so i feel like i just have to like get on board but we'll see if it changes it definitely feels similar to like the Team Jameson, Team Grayson situation with the Inheritance Games though. Anyway, that's all my thoughts. I'm gonna update you guys later once I read some of All In. Take a look out the window Spirit goes up as the rain falls down I've been sitting on the wrong course Keep it together like I did before Think that I've said this a few times Page 139, chapter 25. I'm... I don't even know what percentage that is. I feel like maybe like 40%, something like that. Anyway, I've kind of just been flying through it. I've just been sitting in the same spot, drinking my coffee, reading, watching booktube videos. And yeah, this one's a lot of fun. What I'm noticing is that like each book is kind of focusing a little bit on a character like the first one very much focused on cassie and 
the story of her mother and all of that and then the second one more focused on dean and the story of his father and like the main crime that was going on but this third one isn't really related to either of them but you do get to learn like sloan is getting to use her power a lot more her power has to do with numbers and patterns and facts like she's not a big like feeling person like the other guy people are so this is really interesting and interestingly enough this has to do with like the fibonacci series which is like basically a string of numbers that each number is the sum of the previous two numbers like it explains that in this but i actually learned about that in my first year of university so it was really interesting to kind of like hear about it again in this and i've never realized how often i've actually heard about the fibonacci series and i didn't think it was that important but yeah so far i'm really really liking it i'm just kind of like flying through it i probably will finish it tonight if i'm being honest because it's just so fast or if anything i'll probably like finish it tomorrow morning when i'm you know reading in bed Anyway, I'm gonna keep reading. Someone's orbit turning upside down Gravity is spinning me the whole way around I could use some deeper roots and solid ground Moving forward, back and forth, just get me out I am not afraid of what's inside of me Only scared of what is just beyond my reach And I've got a feeling that that's you, baby Seasons change and rearrange our chemistry So to page 258 last night that's when i stopped reading because i kind of got tired but um yeah that's chapter 45 and there's a spider in my room that i'm staring at right now okay anyway <laughs> the one thing that i'm like feeling right now is that these books are definitely like not that realistic like one teenagers being involved in the fbi obviously and then two just like it was the same feeling i got with the final gambit like by the end of the trilogy i was just feeling like some of the stuff that was happening was just like so unrealistic i know that's fiction and that's like what it's for but it's just harder to like grasp sometimes when it's not like a fantasy or something like that but I'm not saying there's like magic in this or whatever, but you just, I just mean like with like realisticness. But anyway, I am gonna probably finish it tonight. I have just over 100 pages left. I just wanna pop in on here because I don't know, I guess it has to do with like how like connected certain things are and like realistically in real life, like a lot of this like wouldn't happen. So yeah i don't want to say much because i don't want to spoil it but this one is a lot more focused on sloan as i said earlier and i really do love her character and it's funny because i was watching criminal minds last night and she reminds me so much of reed reed is kind of like all of them combined but specifically like sloan's capabilities and like her 
um gift it reminds me of reed so much so yeah this kind of like brought back my love for criminal minds because i used to watch criminal minds all the time but yeah anyway i will update you guys once i've like read the rest it is thanksgiving in canada today so i'm gonna be celebrating with family but i just thought i'd check in really quick and give you an update on what i read yesterday anyway bye <music> guys all right as you probably saw in that clip i just finished all in and i literally have so many questions i would definitely recommend reading this series like each book back to back because the amount of details that you need to remember it's kind of like the inheritance games where a lot of things end up connecting back to the beginning and she does a really good job of bringing back the details that you need to remember and kind of like going through Cassie's thought process as she remembers them so you can remember them too. It's cool if you get to like put it together at the same time. I don't even know what to rate this because for the first like 200 pages, I wasn't bored. I was just like, okay, we're following this new mystery. I got to pay attention to like the clues and stuff. And I think this goes back to like the unrealisticness of like how everything connects and like these kids being in the FBI and like just I don't want to spoil things but just like how everything connects so much is like insane to me and I love books that do that but I love it more when it's kind of like realistic and I could see it happening and just like wowed but with this it's like really? <laughs> I'm also just enjoying like so many of the different like criminal themes that are coming up in this series so definitely gonna read the last book bad blood i'm probably gonna go right into it because i have so many questions from this book specifically that i'm hoping gets answered in there so yeah for ratings i think i'm gonna give this four point see i was gonna say 4.25 but then i'm like did i like killer instinct more mm, okay i'm sitting on 4.25 slash 4.5 it was just it was really interesting kept me intrigued left me with a lot of questions but i don't know there was just something something in it that just but i really enjoyed learning more about sloan and ah uh, i just it's hard to explain ah. anyway i'm gonna continue reading and i'll update you guys once i've read some of bad blood i'm just ah uh, my goodness I think the other problem is that I've been watching Criminal Minds again because this kind of like remind me how much I love Criminal Minds and when I'm watching Criminal Minds sometimes I like get the story mixed up like there was one that I was watching that it wasn't like the same story as this but the um MO of the killer was like very similar to this and I got a little bit confused about the storylines at some point but I've brought my ba myself back anyway I'll update you guys later
like gonna be one of those that I just kind of fly through. I'm already 100 pages in. I'm on chapter 17. This one I thought was gonna be more about Michael, kind of like how each book is focused on one natural. And I'm like, are we ever, never gonna get a book about Leah? Like we learned a little bit about Leah, but she still remains a mystery to me. But yeah, I thought it was gonna be more about Michael, but uh, things kind of changed a little. The first 100 pages kind of feel like a wash now, but we're gonna see what happens and if it comes back i'm not really sure i don't want to spoil but just if you know you know like i'm kind of confused about why that happened but yeah hopefully we get the answers to the questions that i was asking in the first one because i mean in the third one because i'm literally lost and it's just really hard to talk about this because this book is answering a lot of the questions that come up because of the first three books so yeah but i'll let you guys know how i'm feeling later still and what I think about this one. Hopefully there's still like plot twists and fun stories with like us getting answers to our questions. I'm very intrigued by how it's all coming together though, I gotta say. Hey guys sorry for the lighting it's kind of dark because it's like evening time and it's just fall but anyway i am on chapter 41 page 235 so i'm about like two-thirds through and oh, what can i say it's um weird it's taking a weird turn and i don't know how to feel about it I'm gonna like keep reading to see how it comes out but I've seen really mixed reviews on this last book some people either like rate it lower than the other ones or rate it higher so I guess it really depends on what you're into <laughs> um but yeah things are very weird I'm kind of confused but I'm just gonna keep going and trekking along and hope that it starts to make sense but it is still like entertaining and still written very like criminal minds ish it's funny because what this book is about i literally watched a criminal minds episode about like last night i swear to god so i don't know what's going on but i just keep like i'll read a book and then i'll watch criminal minds and it'll be like so similar and it confuses my brain even more but yeah anyway there's a few quotes in here and words that like i actually wanted to get tattooed before i even read this book and now i'm like i don't know if i want to do that because of the meaning that it has in here but anyway i'm gonna keep on reading and hopefully this makes more sense after i'll probably catch up with you guys when i'm done this book and before i start the novella called 12 but yeah anyway bye <laughs> Unprecedented, and I regret that we never talk. So when October rolls around, I watch my emotions for they bubble over, chasing four leaf clovers, missing you more than I know now. We used to walk along the meadow, you were pretty, it felt so serene. genuinely say this is one of the most messed up plots I've ever read I think hmm I think this is gonna get four stars it was really good but I just 
the plot and the way this whole series tied together is really messing with my brain. I would still recommend this series. I think it's a lot of fun. I think that like a YA Criminal Minds is such a fun concept and the little bit of like romance and love triangle you get in this is really, really cute. But this last book really just kind of threw me for a loop. I will say I did not expect any of the plot twists in this. Like, I expected there to be plot twists when I was reading, but I never expected what the plot twist was going to be or what the reveals were going to be or what the plot by the end of this series was going to be at all. I never thought that it was going to be like this. I'm going to read the novella. How many pages is it? Shit. Okay, it seems like it's like five years in the future, which is fun. This is very interesting. I thought that this was going to be about Cassie when she was 12. Um, but it's actually about a different character when she's 12, five years in the future. So it's really, really interesting. And it's like they're solving another case. 128. I can do it. I think I can do it. Anyway, I'm going to read that so I can give like a final thought on this whole series. But so far that's what I'm feeling. This last book just really threw me for a loop. Genuinely, <laughs> like, I just don't know what to think. That's why I just settled on four stars, because I really don't know what to think. I feel like if you've read it, you'll understand what I mean, and if you haven't read it, I don't want this to scare you away from the series. I just don't know how to feel right now, to be honest. I think I'm just gonna tell you guys how I feel after this little novella. I can't talk too much about it, because then it, like, spoils part of one of the first books, but... Um, basically they're just following a mystery of a bunch of teen suicides that are going on, but this character thinks that it's murder is happening, so she wants the help of the naturals. So I finished 12. It was very, very short. It was like 128 pages. Um, I don't have like a lot of thoughts on it. It was kind of just like a little novella. It was nice to see like a where are they now of all of the naturals um, and kind of get to find out like how their life is doing now, who's together still. Um, but it didn't add much substance to the story, if I'm being honest. Like, it didn't really have anything to do with the story. The mystery about this was solved very, very quick. Um, so, yeah. I gave it 3.75 stars just because I did enjoy the writing. I still enjoyed, like, the whole profiling thing and just, like I said, what we got to see of the characters, but it just didn't add that much substance. So, yeah. But, anyway that was all of the natural books that i read um i honestly can't even remember what i rated them already i'm pretty sure this one i had originally given a 4.5 and i changed it to four stars this one i think i gave 4.5 stars this one i gave 4.25 stars i think and then this one i gave four stars definitely still like a solid four and a half star series um it was just lots of fun there was some things that really creeped me out and were just like so weird to me and again i think a study needs to be done on authors brains who write these type of books not necessarily like a murder or mystery or anything but just like when there's so many twists and like a series is brought together like that it just amazes me but yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video comment down below if you've read the natural series what your thoughts were on them if you haven't read them do you want to read them but as always don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps when you guys do that and yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope i see you in the next one bye